In 2015, MBAD commissioned the Financing the Future of Energy report from the University of Cambridge and from PricewaterhouseCoopers. And this explored the potential role of clean energy, renewable energy, as part of the world's uh, total energy mix. So in our update in 2016, we discovered that despite the low energy price environment, renewables are actually advancing at a greater pace than we thought in 2015. So by way of example, Dubai is now tendering one of the world's largest renewable energy projects, an 800 megawatt PV solar project, and Abu Dhabi will tender a 350 megawatt project uh, later this year. We also heard this morning that uh, the new world record for solar um, was now less than five cents per kilowatt hour. We think there are some new drivers for the emphasis in renewable energy around energy independence, energy insecurity, and in particular a decoupling from the carbon-based commodity cycle of the past. The second interesting fact from, the, from our 2016 update is that the developing world has attracted more capital inflows in renewable energy than the 30 member states of the OECD countries. What this actually means is that the developing world can leapfrog uh, the uh, traditional grid-based systems to a, a more energy efficient, perhaps distributed off-grid energy solution more appropriate to the 21st century. And the third thing that the report tells us is that the financial community absolutely has a catalyzing role to play, but this is bigger than banking alone. Policymakers, developers, and the financial community needs to come together to work out ways in which to attract new pools of capital and liquidity into the renewable sector. Uh, so for example, uh, institutional capital markets, be they equity capital markets or debt capital markets, uh, are pools of finance which we think will be a major driving force for the renewable sector when they come online.